Hi, I'm Michaela from the blog MichaelaCreates.com where I sell indie sewing patterns and share free sewing tutorials on making a handmade wardrobe, handmade home and sewing tips and tricks. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a linen heat pack which is such a great thing for when you have back pain or maybe a migraine or neck pain. Um, these heat packs are really great to be able to place over those areas that need some attention and it just really helps soothe any aches and pains. I definitely get a lot of lower back pain and neck pain so I love to be able to use a heat pack and just sit down on the couch while I'm watching a movie or something and really let that help my muscles relax. So for this project you will need a fabric so I'm obviously using linen for this linen heat pack tutorial but you could go and use cotton um, it just really depends on what you have or what you want to use. And then I have some brown and white rice here in a bowl which I'm going to mix some peppermint essential oils. Um, you don't have to add essential oils but I just want to add it for that really nice smell. Um, sometimes that can really help soothe you when you're feeling a little bit tense or stressed. Um, so what I'm going to do is add a couple of drops of this essential oil into my rice and then I'm just going to mix it around with my spoon to just get it all mixed in there and with the rice. I'm just going to set this aside along with my essential oils and now what I'm going to do is grab my fabric and I'm just going to grab a tape measure and cut out the size of the heat pack that I want to make. So I'm going to make my heat pad a long rectangle and I'm going to cut mine at 13 inches long. by 5 inches wide. So once you have cut out one of the rectangles, I'm just going to use this as a template to cut out my second piece because you will need a pair of these um, because we'll be sewing them together to put the rice inside of. So now I have two rectangles cut out into the shape of the heat pack that I want. So now you can grab some pins if you want to pin around the edge of your heat pack. You could make this any shape or size that you want. Um, I've just gone for this shape so that I will be able to put it around my neck if I need or along the bottom of my back also. Um, it's just a quite a standard and comfortable shape that I want my heat pack to be. Now that I've popped in some pins, I am going to start sewing in the middle part of my heat pack so that there will be a small opening in the center that, that way I will be able to put the rice into. So I'm just going to start in the centre here and the seam allowance that I'm going to sew on is um, foot width. So I'm just lining up the edge of my uh, heat pack with the side of my sewing foot. Once you're done sewing around, just cut off your threads and <clears throat> remove the sewing pins. So before you turn 
turn this through to the right side, just trim off the corners. That way you'll be able to get a nice sharp edge and there'll be less bulk on the corner areas of your heat pad. Once that's done, you can find the little hole that you've left open and turn it through to the right side. So once you have turned through your heat pack to the right side, you want to open it where the hole is and we're just going to start to pop the rice into it. I can already smell the essential oils and it smells so relaxing. Um, I would definitely recommend using a peppermint or a mint sort of um, essential oil or even a lavender. That's just a really nice soothing essential oil and it will help you relax and your muscles calm down, um, which is really great and kind of what the purpose of these are for. So I'm just slowly feeding in the rice through the hole with this wooden spoon. If you have a little funnel, you could definitely use that to help you feed through the rice. It would probably be a bit quicker than my method, um, but I'm just going to do it like this today. As you start to fill it, just give it a shake to kind of push it down to the other end. Now you can see that mine is only about that full at the moment. I don't really want mine to be too full so that I am able to kind of mold it around my neck and along the bottom of my back when I need it. So I'm just going to fill mine up with the rice that I have here and hope that that's going to be enough um, to be loosely full. Okay, so I have filled up my heat pack as much as I want it to be filled. I'm just going to pop this pin in over the hole just to kind of get a feel of how full my wheat pack is and I think I'm kind of happy with that. It's quite loosely filled but it's like full enough that I will be able to um, really get the benefits of this. So to finish this off all we need to do is um, fold this nicely, the hole up nicely so that we can close that up. I'm just going to stitch this little hole closed um, with an edge stitch on my sewing machine. You could definitely hand sew this if you want to. Make sure you back tack at both ends to secure the stitch. Once you have sewn up the small opening, you could definitely sew all the way around if you want to for a bit of a detail aspect. I'm just going to leave mine like it is at the moment. And um, you could also do things like sewing a couple of lines in to hold the rice in uh, three different spots as well. That's quite common. Yeah, there's many things that you can do. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a linen heat pack. I definitely need more of these in my home and I've been meaning to make one of these for a really long time. So I'm really excited to have this now. Now to be able to use when I do have aches and pains. Thank you so much for joining me in my sewing room.